right, so the time is now Monday. It's around lunchtime, so I'm gonna actually head over to my residential college, Morse College, to get some food and show you how the dining hall and the college itself has changed in light of this um, pandemic. As you can see ahead, since our arrival quarantine has ended, there's no more need for uh, these dining tents, so everything's packed up, everything's put away. And so now our only options are to eat in the dining halls. So, uh, hello, we meet again. Are you coming back from Styles? I am, yes. Are you going to Morris? Yes, I am. Yeah, see ya. Okay, so over here we have Trumbull College, one of the gates. Um, across the street, that's uh, uh, Saybrook, Saybrook, I think. There are a couple restaurants that I recognize. There's Ashley's Ice Cream, uh, Shere Khan, which is on the other side, Yorkside Pizza, Donut Crazy, Toad's Place, which is closed right now because of the pandemic. So that thing over there is the Hall of Graduate Studies. We're almost there. We have arrived. Thank you. Yep. So as you can see, there are outdoor seating for dining. And of course, Morse College has their own testing site for people who are inside the college. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Sanitize? Oh uh, yeah, before. Okay. Yeah. Would you like a water, bubbly, or a soft drink? Because our soda machine is open now. Yeah, so can I have a bubbly and a uh, water, please? Yes, which bubbly? Raspberry? Yeah. Raspberry. Yeah. And a water, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here you go, hon. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, honey. So there are one way signs there. So the um, self-serve stations are all closed right now. And it's only uh, wrap and go. Uh, salads with um, Italian dressing? Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. You too. Uh, the non-vegan option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. All these songs. Loving the music. <laughs> these are what the tables look like. They have plastic dividers between them and it's four per table. I got the non-vegan option, which was the rice, beef, string beans, along with um, some guac and sour cream. Also, they included some uh, tortillas. And then we have a snickerdoodle and salad and, of course, bubbly. Was the food good, Brett? The food was delicious today. It was almost Chipotle level. Check this out. You love to see that. The guacamole, the sour cream, beans, rice, a little bit of asparagus in there, some, some uh, shredded chicken. This is what we love to see from Yale Dining. Thank yeah, you to the I, I totally there. agree. This this lunch was out of the park.
All right, so it's Tuesday morning, which means I'm walking to my COVID test. The weather has gotten really pretty cool lately. Um, I just think the smell of old campus really reminds me of being a first year and all that nostalgia that goes with it. Look at that squirrel. Look at it go. Hey, bro, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I just got out of a meeting and I noticed that we had an ambulance, fire truck, paramedics out here. And I'm not really sure what's going on, so I'm trying to I'm trying to catch a glance. But it's also kind of comfortable up here, so. Yeah, you're pretty out. comfortable. PJs and all that. Oh yeah, it's that, it's that time of year, you know. The, the weather's just right for pajama pants and yeah. a casual t-shirt. The next month is probably the most beautiful time of the year. The leaves start changing. Yeah, yeah. The weather's perfect. Can't wait for the leaves to change in like old campus. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. That might be the ambulance you saw earlier? Yeah, that could have been the ambulance you saw earlier. The whole point of Big Mouth was that it was Yeah. That, I thought that was the point of Thunder X Thunder too, but then I caught up. Can I just ask the other day? Can I just ask the other day? Yeah. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? You don't want to just sit and talk, John? This shit. No. So now it's Wednesday, September 16th. It's another gorgeous day outside, which is great. So in addition to the pandemic that's going on, unfortunately, around this time of year, flu season also picks up. So Yale has also made the COVID testing centers places where you can get flu shots. I just got off the phone with someone from Yale Health and she said that for students in Morse College, which is my residential college, they'll be administering flu shots September 28th, 29th, and then October 1st and 2nd from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it's all walk-in, so you don't need an appointment or anything, which I think it's good. Although that means the earliest I can get my flu shot is in around two weeks. So hopefully I don't get the flu before then. So this is Branford College on the left, and then Jonathan Edwards College on the right. I really enjoy going through this walkway. So we got some type of fish. I think it's cod maybe, and a purple vegetable. Me and Brett, and we should just see how quick it is, like how quickly we can get taught now. I mean, like, this, this weekend. Oh, yeah. it has been trained. Rio. Very well trained. You see the rolling over trick? The, he's got a Hi, Rio. <laughs> For the vlog. He doesn't seem as shy as he was last year. He's a little apprehensive. He's, he's fine. How is he doing with like the masks? I think it's okay. He's a chill boy. He's very he really, chill. Yes. He's a really chill boy. Oh. Good seeing you. Bye.
Yes or no? That's my... Oh, hey. It also reduces the likelihood of just you getting a an, infe an infection. All right, good morning. So I'm just gonna go to the post office to pick up a book that I got for my Chinese class and just wondering what the post office would look like if anything changed. And luckily it's just on the other side of old campus, so not too far of a walk. So I also got a postcard from a friend who lives in England, which is really dope. So I'm happy to announce that after six long months of waiting, Yale Chicken Tender Thursdays are officially back, complete with three types of dipping sauce. Okay, and here we go. We can fish for help. Fishing would be a good thing. All right, so it's Friday morning now. I just put my clothes into the washer. I'm gonna get tested in five minutes and then take Korean class. After that, I plan to go to the Stirling Bath Libraries to check them out because they've opened up recently, which I find very surprising. And I just wanted to see what has changed inside, what precautions they're doing, and in general, how the overall atmosphere is like inside the libraries and how many people are in there, etc. It really feels good to be packing a book bag for the first time in a while.
Is that all right? So, I finished studying for a bit, on to lunch. If you're really hungry, you can get two helpings, which is what I got today. It's literally like I feel like you'll have cured cancer at least halfway through. So this is your uh, physics um, lab kit? Yeah, they call it the Cinda kit or something like that. They gave us a bunch of stuff for at-home labs. I had no idea what this is. We've got some, some threaded screws, some vented screws, some alligator clips. Um, I'm in the process of making a makeshift pendulum right now. <laughs> but labs, labs in the COVID era are kind of difficult, so it was nice of them to provide us with some stuff to at least get a little bit of hands-on experience in our uh, dorm rooms. Yeah, at least it looks pretty fun to like assemble and like try it out. They give you a lot of creative freedom, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So um, they're pretty flexible about what you can do and how you can do it. So it's on our on ourselves to uh, <laughs> determine the limits of what we do. I see, I see. Interesting. All right, just played a few games of Fortnite and I'm going to dinner. Yeah, just a little room for like milk. Like that? Yes, perfect. You want sugar? No sugar. There you go. Thank you so much. You're Appreciate very it. Do you want, did he get one of these? No, I'm good. I okay. already have dessert in the bag. No problem. Thank you so much. I'll also have one of both. One of both. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Yeah, and yeah, that's what I got. That was the most direct. Why, yes. Why were you holding both? Because I had both. Oh wait. Is so so I know. Not gonna do one no, no, I, no, no, I had it too. Oh. Uh. 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 He got a good amount of votes. He has a write-in. All right, so it's around 1 a.m. at night. After dinner, I played some mahjong with my sweet mates. Then we ordered some pizza and got some bubble tea and spent the rest of the night watching anime. So that basically wraps it up for this week. Although it wasn't as jam-packed as last week, I hope the changes to the dining hall and the library were interesting. So as usual, I want to leave you guys with a rose, something good that happened this week, a thorn, a challenge or setback that I had this week, and a bud, something I'm looking forward to next week. So my rose would probably be getting the hang of balancing classwork with extracurriculars and with this vlog. My thorn would probably be that I wasn't able to showcase other aspects of campus besides the dining halls and the libraries this week. So my bud would be that I'm looking forward to showcasing more aspects of campus next week. And to accomplish this, I plan to have two special guests cover other aspects of Yale that have been affected due to COVID. So I'm pretty excited for that. 
As always, I hope you found this video interesting, informative, and maybe even a bit entertaining. Please continue wearing that mask, washing those hands, practicing social distancing, and I'll see you again next week. Peace.